9.5 million pesos for that yeah. little box over there. Right I, on the I've side of a ditch. Yeah. On the side of a ditch. Uh, well, probably lots of snakes and lizards down there. So they might have lots of company. This house, this is the way it looked last year when we were here last time. Unfortunately, they must have run out of money or the contractor took off with their money. Here's a couple fair size houses. Pink seems to be a popular color here because I've seen several different pink houses here. And there goes Beth. She's trying to lose me. Hey, okay, here's a house that's been in progress for a while. Probably another case where the contractor ran off with the buyer's money. He couldn't finish the house. And down here we've got another pink house. I kind of like the canopy they got there. I bet, and it looks like their landscaping might be nice. I love their dark windows. I have to admit this house is well built. I'm not too crazy about the pink color, but it looks really nice. I especially like the spikes on the fence there to help discourage people from coming over. Some people have electric fences around their house, so they're really trying to discourage people from getting in. Even though this is a guarded community, gated community, the trees marking off the property lines are getting pretty big now. They used to be pretty small. Uh, this house here belongs to a guy that uh, Brother Jaime knows, Glenn. And I can see he's got a garden growing on the side of his house there. It's nice. Yet another house being constructed. And I can see our house up on the hill there. Okay, there's the house that we call the doctor's house that's down below our house up there. What I wanted to show here is the, the land next to our house here on the right. That is supposed to be a park for the kids. And that will be nice once they finish that. Uh, it's another one of those big trees. I don't know what they are, but the only thing I know about these big trees is they're not gonna go anywhere. Supposedly, they're not going to let them cut down any existing trees. They might let them cut down these boundary trees that mark the boundary of the properties. But that's about it. This is the way Beth normally walks. She likes to swing her hips. Another really dead frog. I like to see them really dead like that. because just wanted to show you how impressive the doctor's house fence is. You probably can't see it from this camera, but there's broken glass all along the top there. And there's Beth admiring our house on the hill there. Yeah. Yeah, she's strutting like she's remembering her modeling days when she used to work for Victoria's Secret. 